Hey, good morning to all of you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now we have some sheep in the ditch, guys. Happy Sabbath to all of you. So we need to put this video out. There's a lot of people scared. I can feel it. And what's to come, according to the Euro, is still showing very bullish and very scary and dangerous. So I'm going to give you a quick upload on what your updates are. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless you and your families out there. Now, as you can see, the temperatures are still in the 20s. It's not quite the teen temperatures yet. But it is 3 o'clock in the morning and the teen temperatures are going to start moving in. And now we're going to deal with the Kachira snowfall totals after that. But it is showing an eastern push. It actually is going well eastern of your benchmark. So it is true on the eastern push. But also the Kachira snowfall with the temperatures is true as well. So let me update what you have guys. God bless you all. May you all stay safe. I do hope you're okay. And so far, the power outages is good. The snowfall is a dry snow. It is sticking, but it's not super wet for the power outages. The power outages will come from your wind gusts. Well, we do have Virginia with 4,300 as the top power outage right now. California, Delaware, 3,600. Florida, Maryland, 2,600. Everybody involved with the storm. So far, you're handling it pretty good. And the severity index has updated as well. All this yellow is minor. All the orange is moderate, but once you get from the red to the purples, then you get from major to extreme where they're expecting power outages and it could last a while, guys. So the red is major and the purple is extreme impacts expected all the way up towards Maine. And you can see here on the side, major and extreme extensive property damage likely, life-saving actions needed, and will result in major disruptions to your daily life. While extreme on the coast, where you have all your blizzard warnings is extensive and widespread severe property damage life saving actions will be needed and results in extreme disruptions to your daily life so let's go with high resolution rapid refresh first because it is the most detailed the most information you can get we can get only up to 18 hours on this one i don't like the 48 hour high resolution rapid refresh it does different data involved but it does show by the time you get to nine o'clock in the morning, it'll start getting that heaviness, especially by Long Island, New Jersey, as it goes towards Rhode Island, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts. It's going to start getting heavier as this goes along. So let's go to the NAM 3K so you can see a little bit further. Winds with high resolution rapid refresh shows that it was 45 with 50 on the edge. And everybody got 50 then it started going from 60 to Rhode Island all the way around towards Boston. But you can see it has come down greatly. Cape Cod, you look like you got the worst of it. 70 plus miles per hour wind gusts. Everybody else is going to be in 50 and 60. Still bad conditions. And the NAM 3K shows about the same thing all the way up to 9 o'clock this morning. It gets a little heavier as it goes by the edge of Jersey. As it goes by Long Island and towards Boston, it starts getting heavier. But as you go through the rest of your day today and the evening, it's going to start building up a little bit more, especially for Massachusetts as it goes towards Maine with heavier snowfall totals. And this is just a 10 to 1 ratio. And without the chair at Boston so far, you definitely look like you're the area that's going to be getting the foot to snow towards Maine. Now, as we go to the Kachira totals, because now your temperatures are going to start dropping down to the teens, and that's going to bring you to the 15 to 1, even 20 to 1 ratio. You can see you start adding up more snowfall for central to southern on the east side of Jersey, all the way up to 6, 7, and almost 8 inches. Some more for southern Delaware. Long Island, you're going to be getting 8 to 9 inches of snowfall, according to the Kachira, and your temperatures will be there. But as you go towards New England, you see eastern Connecticut, eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, this is all the hitbox that's going to be happening. And as you go through the day and it builds up even more all the way towards Maine, these are your totals from NAM 3K, guys. And this is most dependable, way better than the GFS or the Euro. This is a short range model. High resolution rapid refresh is as well, but the 48 hour high resolution rapid refresh is different data in the model. So I don't like using that one. I only use the original 18 hour. But with the Kachira, you will be having your temperatures go way down, especially towards Boston. It's definitely showing it by the time you get to Eastern Connecticut, Eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island. This is a big hot spot for anywhere from 12 to two feet. Especially for Boston, you're showing at least 18 inches to two feet of snowfall. Wind gusts with the NAM is agreeing with high resolution rapid refresh as well. 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. And it don't get 60 till it gets towards Boston, right past Long Island Sound. That's where the major of the winds and the snowfall will be. And NAM 3K takes it a lot weaker, guys, than high resolution rapid refresh. This shows the max will be 60. The 70 is going to be offshore. It is doing that eastern push. It did get pretty far from your benchmark. 
And you can see now 3 a.m., but as this, the surface load moves up towards northeast, you can see how far east it is from the benchmark. The benchmark is right here, Cape Cod, 70 and 40, all the way to central Jersey. And it's well east of that benchmark, and it's going further, further east. So the eastern push is happening, but still with the temperatures, there's still going to be a lot of major snowfall, guys. As you go through 7 and 8 o'clock this morning, it's going to start getting less and less, especially for Jersey and the Northeast. It'll be mostly New England, especially for all day Saturday. By the time you get to 11 and 12 o'clock this morning, you're pretty much done for everybody in the Northeast. And it's going to be just for the New England states for the heaviest of the snowfall after that. Some of y'all are still going to be getting some on the wraparound. It's going to be very light amounts as it's finished moving through all afternoon up Maine. Now, when you look at the high resolution wrapper refresh, you can see you start getting an upper level low that does try and form up, and the low pressure goes back and forth. You might have seen this with the Euro the other day, is literally trying to figure out where the strongest part is because the warmest of the waters is what is in now and south of it. Everything else is starting to be a little bit cooler on the water, so it's trying to get the surface a little, a little better. But you can see how it transfers over from eastern of your benchmark, and then it goes right over your benchmark but it's a little bit late when it goes over your benchmark because the snow is almost done for the northeast so the benchmark it did go east of it but when it does go up to the benchmark according to high resolution wrap refresh it's just going to affect the new england states it's not going to affect y'all over here by the northeast by jersey and all y'all maryland delaware pennsylvania new york y'all needed it to be on the benchmark earlier to get all that major precipitation and snowfall you still got good snowfall but it could have been a lot more if this was earlier now when you go with snowfall rates by the hour with nan 3k you can see all morning long you're going to be getting about a half an inch of snowfall the big banding from the frontal genesis is going to be affecting the new england states every time i move this this is one hour guys so you can see over here by the long island sound by boston by cape cod coming six o'clock in the morning you'll be getting two inches of snowfall per hour even up to three along Cape Cod, but definitely two plus inches per hour all morning long until it gets about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Then the two inches an hour are going to stay towards Maine for the rest of the day. The big banding is going to stop at 2 p.m. this afternoon, then you're going to go down to one inch per hour for Maine, where everybody else is getting a quarter inch, maybe a half an inch every hour before it finally goes away. Once you get about seven o'clock tonight, everybody in New England will be done with the snowfall. It will be main for the rest of the night until it leaves around midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning. And I know you're here for data, guys, so I brought you up the GFS and I got the Euro for you as well so you can see the difference. According to GFS, it's going bullish like the Euro, showing it be anywhere from 10 inches to a foot for Jersey, a foot for Long Island as it goes towards northeast with the very heavy snowfall ratings. But it's not showing the craziness over by Boston. And that's where a lot of snowfall rates will be because of the counterclockwise precipitation coming on there with the banding you're going to be having. GFS shows it's a lot less. It's because it went a little further east, guys. Even with the Kachira, it don't bring up a whole bunch, but it does bring more snowfall into New York. Instead of three inches, you'll be getting six or seven inches. And it brings it into southeast Pennsylvania over by Philadelphia. you got to worry about it. A uh, foot of snow for Delaware, Maryland, and Jersey, but... This foot of snow for Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland, take this with a grain of salt because the Kachira snowfall ratings don't go until now and your snowfall is getting less and less because it's eastern of the benchmark. It's mostly going to start from Long Island over towards New England states on the Kachira. You can see that here on NAM 3K as we go to 3 a.m. You're still in 20 degree temperatures, high 20s for a lot of y'all, so you're going to be getting the regular snowfall rates. But the teen temperatures do start to slowly move down. And it's mostly going to be from central to northern Jersey, Long Island, and New England states. That's going to see that 15 to 1, maybe even that 20 to 1 ratio, especially towards Boston, because you get down to the single digits. But this is by 9 a.m. By 9 a.m., y'all snowfall totals by the hour is very small, and the Kachira isn't going to affect y'all. But as the day goes along, the teen temperatures do move across to New England states, and then the Kachira will definitely affect y'all, even getting down to 10 degrees. So it definitely will be the 15 to the probably the 20 to 1 ratio of this snowfall falling as it moves all the way through all day long with single digits. The snow isn't going anywhere. You stay in freezing temperatures the whole time 
all the way until Monday around noon, it'll start melting. Anywhere from 10 a.m. towards noon, it'll start melting and get out of freezing temperatures for some of y'all. It won't raise all the way up, but the snowfall is around for a while. And remember, the Kachira snowfall ratings is only from central to northern Jersey to Long Island and the New England states. It's not for Maryland, Delaware, anybody else. GFS also agrees it's only going to be 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, maybe 60 as you get up towards Boston. Boston seems to be the worst of it on any one of these models. But as it agrees with NAN 3 k that the 70 will be way offshore and y'all be dealing with 60 miles per hour wind gusts, probably 65, maybe a little bit higher, which is still bad enough already. And the Euro, which shows the same thing almost as GFS. So y'all going to be getting anywhere from 8 inches of snow to a foot for eastern Jersey as it goes a foot or more towards Long Island all the way up towards Maine. And with the Kachira, it shows heavy snowfall ratings with the Euro. Just remember, this is only from Long Island all over to New England states. All this 15 inches you see here, don't pay attention to that because y'all not in the temperatures to be getting that Kachira snowfall as it goes all the way towards Maine, with still Boston getting the worst of it. Every map shows as Boston getting the worst of it. I think they've been knowing that for about a week now. Euro shows the most bullish. It shows over two and a half feet. And it's taking it more bullish with the winds as well. Every other model data is showing 40, then 50, and then 60 to high 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Euro is taking it where it's going more, even 70 miles per hour wind gusts for sure, all along the coast of Long Island Sound and around the cove by Boston, with 80 and 90 being all out into the Atlantic. So just be aware there will be a lot of bad riptides with this swirling around. There will be some flooding, but it's not as bad as it was. And Euro is the only one taking this much snowfall and this much damaging winds. So take Euro with a grain of salt. Even though Euro saw the impacts a while back before any of the other models, it is taking that eastern push. So all these big impacts with snowfall is not believable because all the other models say that it's not going to be that much. So the winds will be not, not that much as well. This would be more eastern as well. I would take it as high 60s, maybe a 70 but I don't see it, guys. All the weather models show that this is not going to be that strong. So I'm still showing the eastern push, but from Long Island, really central Jersey on the east side, over towards New England states, you know, we'll start seeing that Kachira snowfall rain within the next hour or two as your temperatures come down to the teen temperatures, even the single digits as your morning goes along. I hope you will be safe today. God bless every single one of you. I do pray for your safety today and your families. I wish the best for you guys. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. God bless you all today. I do pray for your safety. It is a few rough moments that's going to be going through today, not only for the wind gusts, but as the Kachira snowfall starts coming in a little bit, 
Thank God it is gonna be a drier snow. Some of it is sticking, of course, but it is a drier snow, so it's not gonna be causing your power outages. As you can tell, the winds will do that. So just be aware of the winds, please. I pray for you all to be safe and your families, and I really mean that. I don't know what happened last night. I thought y'all had a live stream keeping y'all safe, keeping y'all informed. I didn't see it. Have a great day today. Be safe. Have fun for those that wanted it. Do it safely, please. And above all, if you haven't already, give your life to the Lord. We make mess of it. <laughs> he will straighten it out and make the best of it. All power. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. Our God of Jacob. Our Father. And he will keep you safe. I pray for you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very blessed day today. Please stay safe.